welcome i'm going to paint a landscape based on a photograph which i clicked on the way from pune to satara and i'm using oil colors on this uh, board which has been primed twice with gesso i'm using burnt sienna and some linseed oil to draw the outline of the shapes this is going to be a big tree on the left hand side some bushes on the side of the farm which is being seen here this bush is just to suggest that the viewer which uh, it is the person who is viewing the painting or in in current case uh, it's me who is painting this landscape is on the on this side of the farm and this is the edge of the farm which is being seen and then there are these mountains i won't draw the i won't fill in these but this is going to be darker and there will be light here so maybe this part of the mountain also will be in shade and the rest of the mountain will be in the evening light and this is going to be all green with some shadow of this tree so i don't want to bring this tree to the exact center so i will have to end it here somewhere so now i'm going to come in with the darkest darks or uh, let me start this time with the sky itself generally i start with darks but then let me make an exception so i'm mixing some ultramarine some white a lot of white rather and some yellow i want it to be a warm evening sky let's see how this looks i might need some more yellow in it i'm using yellow ochre yeah that looks good so i'm going to paint the sky with this color I'll have to make it slightly lighter in this area or on on this side of the painting because this is where the light is coming from.
if required i'll come back and with a second layer of color at the end of the painting but that's also if required i want the sky to be very simple so i'm mixing ultramarine blue burnt sienna and yellow ochre to create this dark it said that in oil painting you have to paint the darks in a transparent manner and the light should be thick and opaque in this mixture which i am painting now <clears throat> i am not putting yellow ochre but i am making a darker color with just burnt sienna and ultramarine blue now i'll go over to the trees in the middle ground and for painting the darks of those color of those trees i'm going to mix some chrome yellow instead of yellow ochre so even the darks in those bushes will be lighter want this tree to rise be beyond the line of the mountain i'll keep it at this and then come back later since i have kind of green on my brush already i'll go in and add the green for the crop or the field and let's see how this looks should be even brighter there is a shadow of this tree falling on this crop here but i'll show that in a moment this is that shadow since this tree is a kind of has a round round shape i don't want this shadow to be too tapering otherwise it will look funny and it won't match with the shape of the tree wipe the brush and then i'll again come in with a lighter color the shadow becomes lighter and lighter as it goes away from the object which 
is casting that shadow because a lot of reflected light from the surrounding areas makes the shadow lighter. Again, since I have the green, let me add the highlight side of the trees here. Maybe later I will darken the shadow part, the shadow side of the trees. But then for now, let me add the highlight side. Since this surface is very slippery or very smooth, does not have a lot of texture, I have to be very careful with the brush. With canvas you can drag your brush with a lot of force and still it does its job. But every kind of painting surface has its own advantages and disadvantages. At the smaller size of painting, I like the smooth surface of this board. Whereas when I go bigger, bigger than a 12 by 12, then I switch to canvas or more textured surface. Adding something in the foreground pushes the middle ground still further away. So that is what I did here. Again let me <coughs> Add the highlights or at least the mid tones in the tree here. Now when I look at this dark, it is looking too brown, so to first make it a little more greenish. Now let me come to the mountain. And first paint the darker side of the mountain. This is too blue. This looks better. I need 
to lighten it a bit. Let's see. need to lighten it and make it more bluer. Because this tree and this is having almost same value which I don't want. This area will be even lighter. And the mountain in the background will be even lighter and more yellower. Let's see how this looks. I still want it to be darker than the sky. But a bit more yellower. There are some areas where there is shadow, so it will have this kind of color shift. Even this side will have slight color shift. I want this tree to be darker here because there is nothing to stop the viewers attention from going out from this side. So I'll have to make this tree a bit taller and even more darker. I need to lighten the sky before I add details to these trees. So I'm going to mix again white and ultramarine blue and to add some warmth I am adding a touch of yellow ochre yes looks okay to me so I will go ahead and apply this As I reach the top of the painting, I'm going to add a touch more of blue, slightly more.
that's a bit too much i'll tone it down i also would like to add a touch of red elizer in crimson would be the right thing or the right color so i'm taking a little bit, little bit of crimson on my palette and i'll just throw it in that few places just to break the monotony of the color the photograph uh, which i am using as the reference for this painting does not have this kind of sky but that's where artistic license comes into picture i think i am happy with the sky now and now i can come in and paint the details of the trees so i'm taking a round brush now and i'll mix the dark colors for the trees as the light is coming in from this side there will be darks on the opposite side There has to be a fine balance between abstract shapes and the details. If I add too many details, uh, that's also not good for the painting. If I leave them out completely, that's also improper. So there has to be a fine balance between that. I can use the same, almost same color for the darks in the trees here. as i mentioned i need to increase the height of this tree because there is there needs something which can obstruct the viewers uh, attention from going out on this side of the painting so that's what i'm trying to do also even the line between these two the mountain and the sky needs to be slightly blurred so i'm dragging my clean brush over the edge and that will blur it to the extent i need it yeah i think that's good I need to adjust these mountains to some extent. So let me use some yellow ochre and chrome yellow and try to highlight or show some more strong light on this side of the mountains.
and the opposite side can be little more bluish. Now I need to break the monotony, somehow these two mountains have become one of a kind which is not what I wanted. So I will extend this mountain a bit. So now they do not look like photocopies of each other. some details here. And now I need to add some more details to this tree which has kind of lost its shape because of while I painted the trees. This tree will not be as dark as the one in the foreground because it's it's not as big as this tree plus there is it's also thin so there is light falling on it from all sides. and add some highlight on this and there will be some highlight on this tree as well. I think when I look at this painting from a distance Though the focal point is here, I think this tree needs a bit more highlight. Yeah, that's good enough. And then there are few houses. On this slope. I'm just in I'll just indicate those with few light color dabs. What happens if I get rid of these tree and these houses here and indicate just one here? I think that also will look good. Again, artistic license which trees to keep, which houses to keep, and what objects to get rid of. All is good as long as the painting is good. Yeah, I think that's looking good now. It's only a suggestion. Let me review the painting from a distance now and I think I am happy with it. I might add a touch of yellow ochre in this green because the trees are not as bright green as, as the grass or the 
crop yeah so i think i'm done with this painting and i am ready to sign it i hope uh, you enjoyed watching this painting process and also have felt some inspiration to pick up your brush and try painting something thanks for watching this and i hope to see you again in the next video